Hello and welcome to this how-to technical review on setting up an auto store configuration which will allow users to browse a shared folder structure using a Xerox EIP device and send their scan document to their selected folder. In the ribbon click new to create a new configuration. For this task in the name field enter C Xerox EIP. Adjust the task to perform every 10 seconds and click OK. Now we'll need to grab the needed components from the toolbox. Drag and drop the Xerox EIP Connect capture component onto the stage. Scroll down the toolbox to the route group. Drag and drop the send a folder route component onto the stage. Double click on the capture component. Select the common group. Click on add form and select the send to folder form item. A shared folder called customers already exists that users will want to scan into. So in this example, we'll assign the name Customers. Because we chose to add a Send to Folder form, the Send to Folder Fields tab is available. In this tab, enter the path to the shared folder that users will browse. You may also click on the ellipsis button to configure the target folder path. A default document name can be assigned or left blank. Next, we will select the Components tab. Click the Send to Folder ellipsis button to configure and click the Add button. In the available RRTs, click on the Xerox EIP Connect group. Add the pound directory RRT to the folder path. Then enable the rename file option. Select the pound document name RRT from the Xerox EIP Connect group and add it to the rename file schema. Click in the schema field so the cursor is placed at the end and then type an underscore. Click on the send to folder RRT group. Select File Counter, hold down the control key, then select File Extension and add them to the rename file schema. Click OK to finish the configuration. Click No and click OK to complete the Send a Folder setup. The Send a Folder form settings are complete. Click OK. Expand the common group. Notice the customer Send a Folder form is added and click OK. In the ribbon, click Save. Choose a location to save the configuration file and assign a file name. After the file is saved, the AutoStore service can be started and tested. This concludes the AutoStore Send to Folder form setup for a Xerox EIP device. I hope this has been informative, and until next time, thanks for watching.